Welcome folks to this episode of The Beer Show. I'm your host Khalilik Bouchard and today I am drinking a brand new product on the market. It is the Simple Malt Blonde Dabai Doka. Uh, it is brewed by Brassari Limité which are located in Saint Eustache and it is a Belgian hail. It is a blonde and I could even go farther to say that it is sort of a Trappist beer. Um, and like I said earlier, brand new on the market. It came out last week. Uh, one of the first person in Montreal to get my hands on it because uh, Peluso, where I bought it, they went and they got the product directly. So they took their cars and they went and took the product from the brewers which usually is the opposite the brewers come to the selling place and they sell them to them uh, it was pretty cheap also I bought a six pack I never do that as you can see right here I got a couple of more uh, usually I buy a single one but in the singles it was 239 plus tax refund and in the six packs it was 10 bucks for the six pack so if you you can make the total it makes for like one dollar and 66 cents for one beer in the six pack and there was tasting of the product on the spot so it was like the weekend and it's like come come over taste the beer so i got to taste the product first and and i was like okay that is something out of this world so why not buy a six pack? Whatever, I'll drink in on another uh, on other occasions. Maybe I'll even age one of the uh, one of them, and keep it maybe in a year or two years. I'll have a taste of it. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's go for the stats. It is a 5.9 percent alcohol by volume product served in a 341 milliliter bottle and it is also uh it also has sorry a uh, 31 high bu which is the bitterness unit um so uh so yeah let's go right away twist cap boom as you can see and uh let's put the garbage over there as you can see today, I'm drinking with my buddy Che Guevara. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I really like that angle. I did another video, put the link right there. Uh, and in the description, I always do that. The link will be here. And I put a link in the description. This way, it's better. I like it. It's like I'm more calm. I, do, I, I gesture a lot less than when I'm up and I, I really like it that you see sort of a, a clean cable with the dark and you see a little bit of the reflection you're kind of close to me it's kind of a, you know a little more private you get to see uh, one of the heroes of the 20th century and uh, yeah I don't know the white Fun, maybe man eh, whatever so if you do want to see the, the video don't be shy it was a really good uh, review that time. okay also by the way I already did a review of those guys sorry I'm plugging a lot of stuff if you want to see it guess where it is boom right here boom in the description so let's go come on I got my life my nice little bubble glass today and uh, Let's pour that bad boy up. Oh yeah, sexy baby. Sexy baby. And just so you guys can can see the bottle. So little blue font on that. And back to the main boom. Alright, enough. Oh my god, I get that aroma. Little sweetness. Little it's gonna be a hard beer to describe. I can tell you. So first off, you got a dark golden color to it, and this is what I like. I can like slide things up, easily accessible, and I can zoom in. Well, not necessarily physically zoom in, but I can. You know what I mean? Come on, you know, you know what I mean. 
So uh, yeah, dark golden color, uh, shy head, but you still have carbonation going on in the beard as I'm telling you, uh, as I'm seeing right now. Oh my God, that smell is crazy. Oh my God, such a wild scent to it. Like ancestral, you know? This is what a beer would have smelled like 100,000 years ago. It was their beer. Yeah, there was beer thousands of years ago. There was beer with the Egyptian were doing beers. So yeah, a little bit of sweetness in there. A lot of yeast. I do get a mineral smell in there, yeah. It's gonna be really hard, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do parallels uh, in order for me to be able to get along with that uh, review today, because uh, say we don't have a lot of those kind of products in Quebec. Everybody's exciting about excited about that beer because it is something that we don't usually see uh, so it has a Belgian origin to the yeast used the hops used uh, it's something you know for the price it's it's out there as a really good product uh, for our Quebec um, our Quebec market so yeah really there is a hint of sourness in there maybe little tiny little bit of citrus all right i gotta go for that taste i'm thirsty and it smells so good i'm watering mm. maybe it's because i'm talking too much that is incredible the taste is as crazy as the smell but also ambiguous it's hard to put words and you know they usually you talk about beer you talk about the malt you talk about the sourness you talk about uh, the sweetness you talk about the hoppiness you talk about that metal taste but eh, today I'm kind of all like mixed up in my words because this beer I've never tasted anything like this yeah I, I did a little bit but never had to officially describe it that, that's that's what I should be telling you guys mm. Mm. I get a sort of a saison you know a saison beer which are a really good product I do get a tiny little bit of a reminder of a saison in there but it is not a saison it's a Belgian hail sort of a Trappist beer but I do get the sweetness sort of a honey taste in there uh, it, it is quite uh, thirst quenching so that's always nice this is like it's a summer beer let's be honest you want this on the barbecue as you can see the head is completely gone there's well it, it it's sort of really <laughs> like the only head you can see it's on the contour of the glass because in the middle there's absolutely no head so whatever it wasn't a good idea mm. yeah I get a tiny bit of sourness slash citrus flavor that's everything I like. Mm. Oh, wow. I got such a fresh smell right now. Like when I hum, I mean, like, wow, it was so fresh. It was like opening, opening a, a grapefruit. And, you know, that you got the zest and you got the effervescence of the fruit because it's just been ripped apart coming in the air. It's what it smelled like. But maybe not grapefruit, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. While I'm tasting this and making me uh, an idea on that product, uh, last week, sorry, I tried myself at beer porn. What is beer porn you're gonna tell yourself? It's just taking pictures of beer. 
and it was actually pretty hard to compare it to this video where you know I just like clean the surrounding a bit and I do a little bit of research to know about the product I taste it and then I press play and then the hard work is after it's like editing the video putting it online blah 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 but Oh, hey, placing the beer, making sure that everything was good. It took me like honestly six hours. I did about 20 photos and I couldn't use about 15 of them. So I, I, I'm going to put, put them in the video. Uh, and uh, don't worry. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was like, it was nice. I like the hand results. It's like showing all what I have at the moment beer wise. But it was a lot of work, and it's not a video really, so it doesn't really motivate me, but whatever, had to do it. It was nice. Yeah, th there is a little hint of hop in there, quite nice, but you can definitely uh, see that it's a different hop. It's not the hop that we usually see in IPA or that we usually see in uh, Quebec. This is a um, Belgian hop, not sure exactly the uh, exact type, but quite good, good product, I like it. It's not over bitter, it's only 31, like I said earlier. Really, really, really good stuff. Mm. Like I said, really hard to describe that product. It's not like something I've seen before, but I know that I like it. I'm gonna be drinking a lot more of it. And I do suggest you get your ass off and you go and buy. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much available in every beer selling places around the place because there was such a big buzz about it and everybody was calling in, hey, you have the product? You don't have the product? What are you doing, man? Palooza has it. So, uh, so yeah, get your hand on it. Definitely score 9 out of 10. Best score so far I've given in the 12, 13 episode of the beer show. Believe me, I'm not kidding around. This is one of the best beer I've had in the last months, if not the best. It's really darn good product made by Brassard Illimité. The simple malt blonde tabay doka. On this, little zoom in with the beer. And I'm wishing you guys the best for the rest of the week. Cheers and until next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos. See you guys. Bye. Mm.